Yeah, so my manager called me and said that This Is Us was looking for a visually impaired actor who could sing. Um, and uh, I put together a tape because I was doing a show uh, in Aspen, Colorado. I was doing a regional theater show. And, um, and they called my manager and said that they needed me to go to LA for a callback. And I couldn't go because I was in the production. So I had to put together another tape. And um, it was just a series of doing that. And uh, I, they eventually said yes. And they whisked me off to LA. Um, I hadn't watched This Is Us before I was cast. I, I don't know how I, I missed it because once I, once I, actually once I was in callbacks for it, I started binging it and I fell in love with the show so much. Um, I, I probably watched like 10 episodes a day. Um, and I, I got through the entire first three seasons before I shot any of my stuff. Um, and now I'm a massive fan. You know, I watch every week just with every, with, with all the other fans. Um, and when I first got that script, I mean, the, the twist at the end when they showed that I was Kate and Toby's son, it gave me goosebumps. Um, it's, you know, they, they, Dan does this so well in the show. They, they, they set you up thinking one thing and then twist it on you and, and hit you right in, in the heart. Yeah, well, we, Dan really wanted to make sure that, um, we showed that Jack was, had a really full and wonderful life. Uh, and not only was he going to be okay, but he was going to soar in life. Um, and what was really special, I think, about the character is that he is blind, but that's not what we're focusing on. You know, he's, it's, it's, it's been a real privilege for me to play a visually impaired character who is so strong and, and deep and, and, you know, I think we'll probably see later that he's a complicated guy. Um, and he, Dan and, and Ken both wanted my input on his, his life as someone who is visually impaired. You know, I went to the set and I helped, you know, put things, uh, you know, markers on like the microwave and the stove, um, which you probably don't even see in the episode, but it's those little details that make it come alive for the actors. And I think it translates to the audience as well.